Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's crosshair passage comes from Matthew 11, 28 through 30, which says, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 28 and th through 30. The daily fire thought for today is living with Jesus in my heart gives meaning and hope to my life. Brandon, the word passages for today is Isaiah 41 10, Matthew 11 28, Luke 12 32, and John 14 5 through 11. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in the years, 1 Samuel 5 and 6, Romans 5, Jeremiah 43, and Psalm 19. Today we're going to be talking about the golden gift of faith. One minute we do not believe, the next moment faith is suddenly there. Perhaps in a less than dramatic fashion, we step over the, a border and we believe. We just know who Jesus is. It does not always come framed in all the right words or it may not conform to the classic conversion experience. But within our souls there is intuition. We see it. We know that He is the one who should come if this world is to have any meaning. He is the key, the answer to the riddle of existence. The focus, Jesus Christ crystallizes people's ideas about God. In the Old Testament, revelation came to people about God, but it seemed to be only to rare individuals, such as Abraham, Jacob, and even the prophets. The mass of people moved very slowly, often backwards. God used various circumstances to help them to have faith. But the coming of Jesus has swept the world. Somehow, Calvary does what the awesome manifestations of Sinai could not do. Jesus is the great faith creator. Looking back over the long, cheerless world history of uncertainty and doubt, we can see when it changed, and it came with the gospel. It awakened sleeping trust. The dawn had come. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who, dwe who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. John 14, 6 and John 14, 10 and 11. Jesus said no one comes to the Father except through me. That was a pragmatic simple fact. There are religions enough pointing a thousand different ways but Christ is the way he does not point to a way he is the door and it flings heaven wide open come to me and you will find rest Matthew 11 28 and 29 fear not Isaiah 41 10 these are his promises to all of mankind. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the daily ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.